Senyana. Imagine anyway. somebody who called me Nana Sampara. Uh, <laughs> I was just like... <laughs> And I was the only one in the room. <laughs> I think who are you talking to? I know. There's no P in my name. Can you imagine? But my, my apologies, I will land it. Um, okay. I'm, 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 I'm in the process of doing that. Cool. A big also thank you. First of all, thank you for that amazing, amazing story. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're still continuing. I'm still at the edge of my seat. I always want to thank a big, big up to Sarova. But then after it's time is flying so much, we'll soon stop to just order lunch mm-hmm. and then continue with the story. So. Uh, last but definitely not least, a big thank you to our, I say Sarova, our venue partners. So we've got two partners. Sarova give us this amazing venue and hospitality for us to do these shoots and for it to be comfortable for you to tell that thank story you. in the manner in which you've told it. Mm-hmm. Uh, and also Goshen Acquisitions allows us, Goshen Acquisitions Limited, they allow us to go across Africa and the world to find more rich African stories like mm-hmm, this. Mm-hmm. I keep saying city is Africa to the world. Mm-hmm. So yeah, uh, Uganda, see you soon. Uh-huh. Uh, we're, we're coming and mm-hmm. the US see you soon mm-hmm. just hinting out there okay enough of that let's continue with the story mm-hmm. where you are at you've done this Miss Tourism thing you're number three you're happy to be number three yes. there's a bit of insecurity still in you that of you don't deserve to be number yes, one true. however look at God and how he works mm-hmm. they take a photo that photo is in the newspaper mm-hmm. it's reached in the international international somebody in internationally so you said my what's what is her name Le, lindsay mcintyre Lin, lindsay so saw it in the newspaper here yes, in kenya yes and sent it to ford headquarters mm, in new york and then they're like whoever now, this is yeah we, we want, want her yeah we want her and of course by then the standards of beauty when it came to nini to to, to the, the modeling industry was has started to change now no mm. no there's alec Weck in the industry there's mm-hmm. more black girls in the industry mm. you know it's starting you know starting to change and, and then black then girls look in a certain way because mm. someone like naomi campbell was there but that is a, like, very different from yes, that she is yeah so now they are starting to look for that um that that unique what can i say it's it's unique unique um girl like you know what i always tell people a model never knows she's a model never because she's that girl who, who that girl who's always been felt who was who's always been made to feel awkward mm. like myself ah, yeah, 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 you know yeah. so when when even when you see a model walking on the streets today she you as in she has no <laughs> idea she's a model mm. so even when i'm calling casting you know for models yeah, I was china next door kimbele mbele <laughs> are the ones who come a model will never come because they've always been made to feel different, awkward, and not beautiful. What? You know. <laughs> so when I'm looking for a model, I have to go out to the street, have to go out in Mashinani. You know, that's where I'm going to find them. I'm not going to find them here in, in the city. Yeah. Because models don't know their models. Now, that high fashion model. Yes, I yeah, get what you mean. She never knows. Yeah. That is mind blowing, and when I and and, and I and I can understand what you're saying because I've just heard your story. Mm, yeah, now you know. Yeah, <laughs> because because I'm hearing your story. Even now in in the interview, I'm looking at you different. I'm just like, yo, what's up? You know, like when I'm talking to you, I'm beginning to see things that when you walked in the room before, mm. I may have out of my colorism, mm-hmm. and I'll be guilty. I'm guilty mm-hmm. of that. Mm-hmm. You are breaking that, and I'm beginning to look at you very differently mm-hmm. even as this interview is going yes, it's, it's like true. it's like i'm being i'm faced. opening a curtain yes you're and you're making me look at myself <laughs> and say why do you think what you think is beautiful yes 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 mm. you get what i mean mm. which is mm. powerful yeah people don't get to know people really which is really bad i the, the tagline for cta is you never really know people until you take time out to get to know yes. people mm-hmm. even diana who's your uh, publicist mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and who, who who probably you're with all throughout um there's a lot i don't know is saying that through this interview this oh, thing yes. that she's also learning about you mm. and she's been with you a while mm. yeah yeah true. okay continue let's get to know you <sighs> so she's they've, they've sent my picture to ford ford has said definitely we want this girl right them now they've spread throughout their ford agencies around different places brazil nini um, Paris, London, you know, all of them have my picture now. And now they they want they want me, you know. Now these guys want me okay. everywhere. Let's <laughs> let's start with 
explain to somebody who has no idea what Ford is, yeah. who Ford is at that time. You're saying mm -hmm. it was the biggest? It was the biggest model agency or around the world. The so, biggest one, yeah. So to become a model uh -huh. on the runways of New York, mm -hmm. You can't just take your CV to the runway of New York. Nope. You have to go through an agent. <laughs> and an agent is the person who gets you that opportunity. Yes. So what happens usually is that when you, you know, if, if you have access to the agency, let's say you live in New York or you live in Paris or something and you feel like you, you can be a high fashion model. You actually go and visit them physically. Mm. They see you, they assess you, and then they will let you know if they're going to sign you or not. Mm -hmm. But for me, it was a very good opportunity. Of course, I'm this little girl from Trocana mm. who does not have access to the to the Western world whatsoever. Yep. No, no. And then somehow I just got into there in, in there with I don't know miraculously I guess so they have so <laughs> there's something else that you've said you've said that uh, I, as you can clearly see my I'm bad with names Lindsay the McIntyre was here situated in Kenya as yeah. a she agent yeah. from Ford yeah she so it's casting. her job it's, she was scouting her job is scouting so it's exactly the way we they scout for footballers yes. uh, uh, in the sports world or musicians have been scouted for there's also mo uh, scouting people model, model, model scouting. scouts yeah yeah so when she saw you she, she was picture. like oh hi huh, mm. guys i think uh, we got it so she yes. sends it there and yeah. headquarters are like you got it definitely yeah okay. she's the one and then they decided to enter me into their Ford for model of the world competition so so why were they York. sending it to all these other ones in brazil and no because they're so excited because oh. they're all yeah this is all ford so ford Ford has different agencies in different cities. Yeah. Yeah. Like like I told you, there's a whole cycle. Yes. Which we'll get into. Okay. Yeah. So an, an agency, usually you have um, different offices in different to serve the models or whatever activities is going on in that particular I get city. That. So all the capital, all the fashion capitals have Ford branches. Yeah, Ford yes. branches. Yes. Yeah. All the agencies have branches in all the different mm, mm, fashion capital. But by the time they're beginning to send your picture to there, yeah, that means they've already agreed. Yeah, they've already signed they've me. Already say, yeah. That's the funniest thing. Yeah. That's the thing. They had already signed me. So now in they're fact, they're sending a lot of excitement. They, mm, they've already they've already entered me into the competition. So whether I win or not, they've already signed me up. You see. So I've already signed in, in in Paris. I've already signed in London. I've already signed in Milan. I've already signed everywhere already. Okay. In Brazil. Yeah. Walk us slow. So mm -hmm. what happens? Lindsay calls you. Yeah. So finally she managed to track me down. I don't know how. Can't. She needs to. We need to go back and I need to ask her. Yeah. But she managed to track me down. She's like, oh my gosh. You know, I've shown you pictures to this mm, the biggest one of the biggest agencies in the world, and they really really love you. They would like for you to be a model. I'm just like, um, of course, that insecurity has still come now. Mm. I'm like, who? International model? Mm. No. I mean, I thought the best I could do was Face of Africa, which is here in South Africa. Yeah. But, like, internationally, <laughs> I, no way. This is like, out of, you know, it's not even in my wildest yeah. dreams, yeah. right? So I'm like, no, I'm an athlete, and I don't oh, think yes, I can. yes, you're mm, still supposed to be I'm going to still, States. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually preparing to go for my scholarship, and... And um, um, I don't think I can be a model. I'm going to Europe. My mm. boyfriend is there. Yeah, he's looking for me because I've been. I've just come from a traumatic experience. You know, I don't think I'm. You know, and and um, you know, of course that thing. I I'm, I'm not telling her that I I still have insecurities about the way I look mm. and that I don't believe that I will make it out there in the international industry. I didn't tell her that, but I made other excuses, mm. right? So eh, she said, no, 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 Ajuma, you have to, you know, please just try. Give it a go, give it a go. She really, really insisted, but of course I said no, Kabisa, Nikakata. Said, what? No, no, no. Yes, I completely, like I said no. So, <coughs> so funny thing, when I was now, all my visas are ready, I'm flying out. Where are you right? going, Europe? Yeah, I'm starting in Europe first. And then you go after that to States? Yes. <laughs> Ajuma, your life is crazy. Hey, so I am um, I am now on the day I'm supposed to be flying, Ford in Paris have sent a photographer to come and shoot me. Right? Now now she's in a difficult situation because I've refused. First of all, I've refused. I don't want to be a model. 
but already they've seen my picture and they're, they're, they've, they've already agreed. And they've shown this photographer. There's this girl. Now Ford has already, in Paris, I've already shown the photographer. There's this girl. What the photographer said, yes, of course, I'm going to go and shoot her. You know, they buy their tickets, everything they've prepared, they've come now, right? So she told me, oh my gosh, the photographers are already coming. Now she's still continuing to beg me because now it's even like, what do you, it's escalating the whole thing. Wow, wow, wow. wow. <laughs> Her job is even in the line now. Hey, Uko in Europe. Who can't scout. <laughs> Uko, hey, in Uko in Europe, things are escalating because of me. Like, because they really want me, right? Baka, they are sending a photographer down. That's insane. Me over here in Mekata, right? So the guy decides to come anyways. And they're just telling her, just convince her. We don't care. We're on our way. Yeah, we are on our way. And me up and because I'm like, no. Me she have pack bags. I'm already on my way to the airport. So she's like, okay, do me a favor. Do me a favor. I will try. Maybe I'll try to convince them to shoot another girl. Okay, but do me a favor, please. When because they are landing, when you're flying out, find a meeting point at the airport so they can just see you physically. You make acquaintance with them. So even when you're out there in the Western world, you never know, right? Just do that for me, right? What? So I'm like, okay, sour. Hi, yeah. See, I'm at the airport. We've, we've managed to find a meeting point. I've met them. Let me tell you, the guys refused for me to leave. Yanni, they were calling me on the thing, on the, on the, in the, air, on the airport speakers. Can Miss Nasanyana please board the plane or your bags will be all offloaded? Can Miss Nasanyana please board? <laughs> what? <laughs> the guy said, you know, the guy just said, it's better. I turn around, I go back to Europe with you because there is nobody else I could, you know, you are perfect. You are what I, yani, I imagined. I, there is no possible way I can find another girl like you. No. So it's better I just turned around and leave now. That's what the photographers were saying. There was a crew. <laughs> hey, I'm telling you, I put <laughs> under pressure. <laughs> I was so under pressure. So these guys are like this and then the, a hostess is like shouting for me Uko, <laughs> on the thing. They're like, just, you know, offload your bags. We'll pay for everything, pack at your inconvenience. What? Mm. Just offload, let them offload your bag. You know, we'll pay for, you know, even though you want a hotel, you know, whatever, everything you want, we will pay for it, right? We'll change your ticket. You know, whoever it is is waiting for you. We, you know, they're like, we will do anything anything for you to stay right hey <sighs> see i gave in <laughs> just like oh my gosh it was just <laughs> me <laughs> i gave in because <laughs> it, was, it was just a headache it was becoming a real headache right it was just becoming now annoying <laughs> <laughs> I've, I, never, like, I've never had people beg me that much in my life. My yeah, goodness. Okay, we're going to talk about this bit <laughs> here a bit. Because first and foremost, I'm so blown away by... In fact, I'm questioning myself. Mm. I'm asking, what level of beauty is this that these guys are seeing? Mm. Eh? Mm. And why have I have we and i mean we by Kenyans, neglected that exactly so mm. what has blind i don't even i'm going to say we are so blinded that we we're not seeing it because why is it everybody who's coming from abroad the first thing you you talked about a wowness that mm. they gave you mm -hmm. like there was an honest on stage mm -hmm. Guys, a photographer sees you, he's already said, ah, this is it. Mm -hmm. No, there, there's, there, forget even the photographer, there's, Lin, there's Lindsay, Lindsay, there's, Lindsay Ford, there's Ford, all, all of those guys, they're not even putting you in a competition anymore. The they're world. like, yeah, they're no, like she she's already that. done mm -mm. to the point where send the photographer to take the photo. Mm -mm. Lindsay is so sure, she says, just meet them, let mm -hmm. them see you. Mm -hmm. And she and I know she said that knowing that they'd see and be like, of this course, is it. this is it. Yeah, they see that this is it to the point where they're like, whatever expenses mm. is happening. Mm. But even you, your life is crazy. Well, You're uh, always <laughs> to, like, what is? We're so, gonna make it happen. Yeah, like, um, and and probably I'll ask you mm -hmm. to tell me mm. what do you think. You can be raw. You okay. can be raw to, towards okay. me. Yeah. Why is it that I am not seen? Or why? Why? The more you tell your story, I'm loving you for you. Mm -hmm. I'm learning you from the, the rawness and the beauty of your mm -hmm. story. I'm just like, Yanni, can we be friends? <laughs> <laughs> but for the real, I want to know, what is it about... Because I don't want to look at the next person with the skills. Same, yeah. 
what is it that we and by we i'm talking about kenyans yeah yeah why aren't we looking in that in that sense okay i have a theory i probably it's probably wrong right mm. and it's not just kenya it's a whole of africa